Hello all and happy Friday. This is Rebecca Zung, divorce attorney again with you today. And today is Friday, which means it's Family Law Secrets Friday. And today I'm gonna to be tackling kind of a tough subject and that is what to do if you really genuinely believe that your children should not have any overnights with your spouse. You believe that there's a safety issue Maybe your spouse has a, a, a substance abuse problem. Maybe they're just neglectful in some way. The, the, this is something that you're not trying to do just to gain leverage in the case or to hurt your spouse in some way, but you really genuinely believe that your spouse shouldn't have overnights with the children. What do you do in that instance? And this can be really a difficult situation because remember, you have to balance that the court is going to believe that both parents should have time with the children, that both parents have an equal right to be parents, that both parents are equal in, in the eyes of the law. Um, there used to be various presumptions about mothers. They don't exist anymore. And so really both parents are considered to be equal as far as the eyes of the law. That doesn't necessarily mean that you would have equal time with both parents, although some states have uh, gone that direction, uh, but both parents are have a constitutional right to be parents to their children, and so the court's going to start from that premise. And remember, the courts are a little bit dated because they see people all the time trying to gain leverage and trying to say things and point fingers. You're in the middle of a divorce, so sometimes people just do things that they ne don't, wouldn't necessarily do in other times in their lives. So the judges may be a little bit jaded and they may start from the premise of not necessarily believing why you think that the other spouse should have no overnights whatsoever. So in order to prove, and remember, you're going to have the burden of proving that, you're really going to need some help with that proof. And the easiest way to get that help is through something called a custody evaluation, or sometimes it's called a forensic parenting evaluation. Now, there are a few old school judges out there who don't like them, but most judges do. And if you don't have one, then you just have to parade in 50 or 100 witnesses. I'm exaggerating a little, but really it's, you know, it ends up being like a five day trial, which is extremely expensive and takes a very long time to prepare for and a long time to get on, the, on, on a docket. So the easiest way and probably the most cost-effective way to prove to the judge is to get something called a, a forensic parenting evaluation or a forensic custody evaluation. This is performed by a, a forensic evaluator, usually a clinical psychologist, who interviews everybody, interviews the children, interviews you guys, interviews whoever's close to the children, maybe teachers, coaches, things like that. They may even have uh, the latitude, depending on what the court order says that appoints them, to do testing, psychological testing, maybe even drug testing, maybe parenting tests, things like that. They have all sorts of aptitude tests that they can give. And then they end up writing a report that recommends a parenting plan that they think is in the best interest of the children. The judge has the ability to say, yes, I love the report and I'm taking everything in it, or no, I don't, I hate it, I'm throwing it in the trash can, or I, I'm, I'm gonna take parts of it. But usually the judges do give a lot of credence to what the parenting evaluators have to say. That's the fastest and easiest route because they look at those people as neutral third parties. So if you really, really believe with your whole heart that your spouse should not have any overnights, that's probably gonna be your best bet. Uh, the other way is just to get your spouse to agree to a parenting plan or a custody arrangement where they have no overnights. But if that's not an option and your soon to be ex is fighting you on that, then you might wanna think about the custody evaluation. So that's it for me today, Family Law Secrets Friday. I will see you back here on Monday. But before that, remember to go ahead and check out my website, www.breakingfreefromdivorce.com. You can set up a strategy session with me there. You can also check out my free private presentation 
or I'm also giving away copies of my free of my best selling divorce guidebook right now. You just pay a, a small price for shipping, and we pay for the book, and then relief is delivered right to your mailbox. So www.breakingfreefromdivorce.com. Uh, it and I will see you back here on Monday for Monday divorce motivation, where I will give you more tips on how to motivate you during this difficult time of divorce. So remember, I'm Rebecca Zung, divorce attorney, and I'll see you on Monday.